Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Ignore the noise in the background, my printer is printing away a load of. Printing stuff, yeah. Right, this is how you make the gimmick for the trick snookered that I put up. You need a hole punch, double sided stick tape, super glue, a pen, sharp knife, a ruler, a little pointy thing for holding things down so you don't stick your fingers with the super glue, and three cards. Yes, you can only see two. In the immortal words of Blue Peter, here's one I made earlier, sort of. I've gone and got myself a couple of steps ahead so this didn't take that long. Start off, get two of your cards, a little bit of double sided stick tape, stick them together and then punch out your holes. Your holes in the angels faces in the flowers top and bottom and in the flowers either that side. Then you can take off the top one and put that to one side. Take off my double stick tape now. Should have done that before. Take off the double stick tape. Otherwise you get your fingers stuck. Then on the back card where you had your holes punched, all you're going to do is cut a little, and I say a little, square around them. So it's only just bigger than the hole if you can see. So once it goes behind, you can't see any card. You can just see straight through the holes, right? Now, on your other cards, what you want to do is, first off, as you can see, I've put little marks where it's just above that hole with your two centre ones anyway. Uh, I didn't mark the bottom ones because I've done that by eye. But if you need to, you can always stick that down on the bottom down there and mark where the edge of that hole is. It's easy enough to see if you follow the pattern. You can see where you need to cut. Right? Um, when you do these holes in this card, make sure they do not go past that third line on the inside. So you've got your three white lines. Don't go past that line and do not go past this white line here. That white like framework, you got the white, you got the red, and then you got that white. Don't go past that. Very important, right? On this one, you want to cut out. I'll just pop these ones out on this side so you can see what I've done. So I've just pop them out. All you need to do, see, I've already got this all cut. I'm well prepared for this one. Cut out. Along that white edge at the top, and down that white edge, but don't cut all the way down because you need stoppers. If you cut all the way down, you're going to have to glue these back in. So just to save time, cut down far enough so that you'd have enough room for your face to disappear, if you can see what I mean. And then it'd stop, right? And you cut it in to the third white line in from that white line. Same there. The same there, I've gone a bit scruffy on them. The straighter you get them, the better it is, because that's going to be your little runner, your little guide for your runner. Once you've done them, as I say on both sides, remember which ones come from which one, otherwise you're going to be completely knackered. Get you out. You do the same with the top. I haven't cut that one far enough. Hang on. Oh, get off card. There you go this time. Bend you through that way. And there you go, you snap off. That's on there. And one down on the bottom as well. Boop, off on the corner. And as you can see, I've left a little piece there. As a stopper for this one and a piece there as a stopper for that one right so that's what you need to do then this uh, yeah that then gets glued to the back of this one right so you glue oh i thought i used two fours there you glue that to the back of that one right um yeah, I couldn't go ahead and do that beforehand because that would have been silly. You wouldn't be able to see what you do with there. So what I'll do is I'll just stick this down. I'm not going to glue it. I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to use double-sided stick tape. So I'll just pause a minute and I'll get this stuck down so we can come back. Right, back in a minute. Right, I said it wouldn't be long, didn't I? Right, I was going to stuck that down with double-sided stick tape. Okay. Um. Yeah. 
Now these are going on altered sides now, haven't you? That one should be that one on that side. Yeah, yeah that fits in there, smashing. Now all you need to do now is cut this roughly in half. If you put it next to your hole, you can see that you need to cut it past the hole, but make sure that there's enough You'll go, well, you'll see what I mean in a minute. I'll just cut this one in half. Give us one second. Give me more than one second. There. Right. So now I've cut that in half. That'll fit into there. Now if I push it right the way up, that angel's face it should be spot on perfect straight away. And you've got enough room there hopefully for it to glide down and uncover the hole as you can see. Look, that one there. It'll go up and it'll go down. Okay? And that's all you need to do with all the others as well. So that was the waste off that one. This here is the one for in here. Yeah. Just check them to make sure that they are before you do cut them. Because once you've cut them, you cannot uncut them, if you know what I mean. So we'll cut that one again, about here. And do take your time with this. I'm rushing this bit now because I'm not pausing the camera again. But I might do. And then give that a check, put it into its position, make sure it's the right bloody way around. Thank you, don't know where you came from. Yeah, that's the right way around. And will it slide down and clear the hole? Yes, it does. Happy days, right? So that's, that's nothing. That's the top one off there, so I'll put these on this card now. That's the top one off there. That's the middle one off there. And then you just carry on doing that. Oh Christ, right underneath me nail. You carry on doing that until you've cut them all down. So I will pause and I'll come back. Right, I'm back. Right, I've cut all my little pieces out eventually. Um, next thing you do is you can put these into place making sure you get them into the right ones obviously so that should be is that that one soon find out yeah that looks a perfect match so that's that one that one's got to be this one on this side that one's going to be this one on this side. That's going to be that one down the bottom. And my print has gone and hacked up. No, it hasn't. That'll be that one on that side. That's going to be the one on the bottom. And it can only mean that that one is going to be the one on that side. Right. Just give a little check, make sure they're all in the right places. Yes, seem to be. Right. Now, on this one that you cut your little Uji bars on, you can see where you've got your spare gaps, can't you? Like, where that's going to slide down into. So what you do is you cut little slots, as you can see. I'll just clip them off and you'll be able to see what I mean. You just cut little slots. Like that. Like that. Like that, like that, oh, like that, come off, yeah, like that, and if you cut them good enough, they should all just come straight out, yeah, yeah, cut little slots in them, and don't forget to do your two end ones, your top and your bottom, that one there and that one there, right. 
yeah, that card's going to be going that way, isn't it? And then all you got to do is get that glued on to there. Yeah. You can glue it, but for this, you might find it better using double-sided stick tape. I know I bloody did. So what you do is you get double-sided stick tape. And you want to make sure that it does not go over any of them holes. So you stick it coming down that edge. Like that. And then trim it off. And then take what you just cut off. And put that on the other edge. And again, trim that off. Try and trim it off. Get straight, will you? Get your finger on the edge when you're trimming. Better trim that off. Now you can use part of that for the bottom. And trim it off at that edge so it's not overlapping it. Hold still. Oh dear, bits are falling out. Not to worry, they're easy enough to put back in. Right, get that back in today. That's the, obviously the bottom corner one. And that one, make sure you're going in the right way around. Is that one there? Yeah, I need a bit more on the bottom. And again, trim that off. Oh, behave yourself, will you, tape? You can use that to go down a bit in the middle. And get another bit to finish off in the middle. Like that. And make sure that all your pieces are in the slots properly before you stick the top on. Otherwise you are completely knackered. And so they're all in place. Line that card up and put it on. Make sure it sticks down, keeps all your pieces in place. And that is basically it. All you need to do now is make little levers. That's why you got your little slots. So it'll slide up and down there. So you just make little levers for them. And that's quite easy to do. You've got loads and loads of cardboard left. Fold it into a triangle. And put little feet on it. Hopefully without dropping it. It's good if you've got little dainty hands for doing this. I'll tell you what, so to do in that, I'll just grab another card. Make it a bit easier on myself. Uh, yeah, we'll use one of them knackered ones with the writing on the back. Get a card. You can see roughly how big your slots are. So if you just cut a thin strip off the edge of one card, like that. Put off the little round bit at the end. Oh, do you know what? I'd be no good as a tailor, mate. 
nobody would get a straight suit look at that and ripping the fabric and everything yeah um well that'll do i'll bend that there make a little foot on one side you do not want to make your feet too big Little bend on that side. Get my scissors to put them there. So be a damn sight bloody easier, I reckon. So you're cutting like a little lever. And this is where you use super glue. And be very, very careful with your super glue that you don't stick nothing that you're not supposed to stick now. And you get a little dab of your glue. Squeeze the bottle in the right places and you might get somewhere. Just a little dab of the, the super glue, glue on there. Push it onto the back of the card and use your little sticky thing. Not to get it stuck to your little sticky thing. But just stick it onto the back of that piece and make sure that you line it up so that once you're moving it it will go up and down that slot as you can see like that i don't know if you can see that it does it goes up and down that little slot right and all you do is do that on every single one of them. And happy days. Let the glue dry. And Robert's your father's brother. Or maybe he's not. Maybe he's your mother's brother. But either way, Bob's your uncle. Wish I had hands the size of a bloody action man. Be great for doing this, it would honestly. A little bit of your gluey on there. Oh, throw your glue somewhere where you didn't want it to go. Stick it on the back of the card. Use your little stick thing just to line it up where it's got to be lined up before it sticks. Get stuck down that side. Oh dear, you slide. Oh, you slid up too far. You. Oh, just there. Yeah, just there. Yeah, and you slide beautifully. And there you go, that's how you do it. I won't bother boring you with putting the rest of the things on. I will... I'll do the rest of them. Pause it, do the rest of them, and I'll come back and I'll give you a little demo. Okie cokey. Right, and there we go. All done. And as you can see, the, it looks like a normal card. That, oh, hang on, I'll shut that one over. <laughs> it looks like a normal card when they're all shut. That one's a bit iffy at the top, actually. But, looks like a normal card. But very easy to get all your holes to open up, if you can remember what way the bloody going. Where are you going? Where are you going that way? That one there, I need to increase the width of that slot, I think. But, oh, and that one, that needs to go up. Oh, and that one needs to come across. Oh, and that one needs to go down. Oh, and that one needs to go up. But you can see all the holes are there now. Yeah. And as I say, it's quite easy to move them around. Well, not move them around, but open and shut them. Via your little levers on the back. Have a go, Barry. Have fun with it. And I'll see you again soon.